What is going on guys? Bearded Storyteller here. Wanted to do a uh, little quick review of my Heritage Rough Rider 22 pistol. My little revolver that I got. <clears throat> First thing is, it comes with this little Heritage case. I am using my front facing camera so everything is going to appear to be backwards but it's not. I apologize for that. Uh, but it comes in this little cardboard box right here. And, uh, well, we'll just get straight on into it. So the first thing is, this is it right here. I do have the uh, 4.75 uh, inch barrel on here. And uh, it is a six shot. I have the 22 long rifle cylinder as well as the 22 magnum cylinder. Uh, <clears throat> got that right here. This is the little 22 cylinder. I got it already loaded up, ready to go. Just in case, because you never know. You never know what you might run into. Uh, paid about 140 bucks for this thing. Got it brand new at my local pawn shop whenever COVID first hit in about the middle of 2020. And still got it for $140. Now, whenever I first got it, it did have these really cheap plastic, just junk grips on it. I mean, I hated those grips. So I bought these actual elk antler grips that you see here. They're real, you know, real actual elk antler grips, you know. They're uh, not 100% fit. You know, they could use a little bit more work, but uh, paid a lot of money for them, and they actually feel really good. You know, they, they have a good texture to them and they're not too slippery and all that. So, paid about $70 for just the grips alone. Um, I do have something here that I will show you though. Uh, I might find this to be a little bit of interest. So, give me just a second here. Pull this in you know, because I didn't prepare. Okay, so this gun originally actually came with this six inch barrel, six and a half inch barrel. Uh, it came with, yeah, there we go, that's more like it. It came with this barrel, and uh, well, I bought this to teach my kids how to shoot. And, um, well, it didn't take long before they were like, you know, it's really heavy, it's nose heavy. You know, because you would be you'd be shooting, and it's just it's so nose heavy because of the extra added weight of that uh that six and a half inch barrel. So I went ahead, I went on eBay, and I bought the 4.75 inch barrel, which is obviously, as you can see, significantly shorter. And uh, <clears throat> I went ahead, and I had to fit it to the actual gun itself. I had to take a Dremel and a hand file and just very slowly file down the uh, shoulder of the actual uh, barrel itself in order to make it fit. And once I got it 100% perfect, you know, then obviously I uh, put the uh, little ejector thing on there. Now, what's really cool about the uh, Heritage Rough Rider revolvers is that they'll literally shoot anything, anything you feed them. So you can shoot stuff like, you know, regular Aguila 22, 36 grain. You can shoot Federal 40 grain, you know, whatever you want to do there. You can shoot Subsonics out of it. Um, and Subsonics are really quiet, let me tell you. They're, they're good stuff. You can shoot, you know, your CCI Mini Mag. Uh, copper, lead, whatever you want to do, and it'll pretty much, uh, it'll it'll shoot anything you put through it. Now, obviously, I have my 22 Magnum cylinder in it, so it actually shoots these longer 22s here. These are just your uh, like Federal or whatever, just your Federal 40 grain uh, 22 Magnum. They are hollow points as well. As you can see there, they are hollow points, but they come in like a bulk pack of, I think, 150 or 200 or something like that. I'd have to pull out the box, which is in the very back of my gun safe, and I don't feel like digging it out. So, uh, I got these in like a bulk pack, 
But uh, yeah, I tell you what though. I tell you what. So this guy right here is very accurate. Let me tell you. You can shoot, you know, pretty much anything within <laughs> 25, 30 yards, and it'll hit pretty much everything you shoot at. So it it does have the little safety on the side, which is really handy. That's really nice. You know, the uh, it's got your little side loading gate. You know, so you can punch a little shells out. You know operate that just like so and uh between 2020 and now and me and the kids shooting this thing quite a bit uh i probably have about a thousand rounds through this and not a single issue whatsoever now i will say after you shoot about a hundred to 150 rounds out of it you do have to take the cylinder out and clean down in the bores of the cylinder and clean your barrel and stuff like that because trying to load rounds into it it starts getting really stiff and you have to you know apply a lot of pressure in order to get those rounds to seat and in down into the cylinder so uh Obviously, the, the fit and finish is not 100%. It's not the greatest fit and finish you've ever seen. You know, it could use some work. But, uh, I mean, come on. You know, it, it comes, you know, 140 bucks. Uh, if you want the Magnum cylinder and you want something with a little bit of fancier grip on it, you know, and all that, you might be looking to pay around 200 versus the 140 that I paid for this. But I tell you what, it is an investment that I do not regret at all whatsoever. I've put, you know, between me and the kids, we've put about a thousand rounds through this. And hopefully we'll be able to put another thousand rounds through it at least. Um, I do have other 22s, obviously. You know, I've got a CZ-452. I've got a Savage 22 long rifle, Model 64. And, uh, you know, obviously I've got this. So, probably going to be putting many more rounds through this as time goes on. Hopefully we do. But, uh, you know, it's it's been absolutely fantastic. So, if I was going to recommend a cheap budget 22 revolver to anybody, I would definitely recommend this. Um, you know, if you're thinking about getting one and you're like, well, I don't know. You know, I mean, look. You can get these in six shot, nine shot. I think you can also get them in seven and eight shot. You know, there's multiple different options that you can get for them. If you want it just in 22 Magnum, you can get it in 22 Magnum. If you want the option of both, you can get it in both. I mean, there's a lot of options available for it. But uh, yeah, guys, so Heritage 22 Rough Rider Revolver. And the trigger pull on these things is amazing. So first of all, you got your four clicks, just like so. You know, just like your typical Colt clicks. And I mean, there is no take up whatsoever. It's just a straight pull. You know, you cock it, and then it's just a straight pull back. And it's about three and a half, four pounds. It's really light. So... Uh, you don't want to dry fire these pretty much ever, but if you're going to dry fire, be sure you put the safety on. That way it doesn't send the firing pin into the side of the cylinder, you know, because they are rim fire cartridges and all. So just make sure you practice, you know, good etiquette and uh, put that safety on or get you some snap caps or something like that. That way you can, you know, not damage your firing pin and not mess anything up. Uh, Heritage has a pretty good warranty on these things as well, so if it does break, you can send it in and they'll work on it for you, but, you know, you obviously don't want to have to go through that process if you can avoid it, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, they'll feed pretty much anything you put in them, which is really nice, so, anyway, guys, if you got any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to put that down below, uh, if you want to, be sure to like and subscribe, if you want to, it would really help me out. Uh, if you got anything that you would like to add, um, feel free to go ahead and do that. And uh, y'all stay out of trouble and don't do anything I wouldn't do.